Greetings to all. This is my April build, the Antonov AN28 cache in Aeroflot markings and Aeroflot kit. So see you here, you see the aircraft in its natural environment. The Antonov AN30 NATO codename uh, cache is a twin engine light transport aircraft developed from the Antonov AN14M. It was a winner of a competition against the Brie FB30 for use by Aeroflot as a short range airliner. First flew in 1969, a total of 191 were built and 16 remain in airline service as of August 2015. After a short pre-production service by Antonov, it was licensed built in Poland by PLZ Millet. In 1993, PZL Millich developed its own improved variant, the PZL M28 Skytruck. You see, I think that's a nice name for it, very, it has that look of a uh, flying pickup truck, really. So here you see a few pictures of the aircraft. That seems, that's the developed version with uh, a five-bladed prop. And you can imagine this aircraft flying from remote airfields, islands, maybe exotic places where you've got short runways, requiring an aircraft with good short takeoff and landing capability. And I do like some of the rather colourful schemes as well. The uh, entrance and exit is by the uh, windows at the back. I bought the kit a few years ago at the Telford Model Show from the Hannon stand. And there's nice finds there. The kit comes with photo edge parts and decals for two aircraft, one of them being the uh, Aeroflot uh, markings. This kit has very good exterior detail with fine panel lines, moulding is crisp with no flash. Construction begins with the interior, there is a fair cockpit but no cabin, so I decided to scratch build one, this included a full set of 10 passenger seats. These are some of the reference photos I used from it and it was a case of finding a suitable configuration. Most of my builds do start with a fairly extensive file. It's far from perfect but it adds something. I try to go for the generic look based upon the reference pictures. The nose weight is a mix of lead shot and milliput but there wasn't uh, much space and this was something that would create problems later. Fit is pretty grim as expected. I added a shim plate aft of the wing on the upper fuselage and a shim strip on the lower side uh, opposite. These required a lot of sanding, filling and uh, blending. This is a real filler queen. I used Deluxe Products Perfect Putty as the main filler overlaid with Mr. Surfacer. And this was very much a repeated process until I was happy with the finish. I added more weights in the engine nacelles to help the balance and kept on with the filling, sanding and inevitably the rescribing, particularly on the upper surfaces. As with many um, a model kits, the flying surfaces, ailerons and flaps were separate parts and these needed a bit of uh, sanding to get a decent fit and fiddling about to sit flush. After masking I undercoated in a flat mid grey and reworked any visible seam lines, so again back with the filling and sanding. I started with Tamiya Satin White which I also used for the pre-lightening. That went on pretty well, but after that I seemed to have quite a lot of uh, headaches with my airbrush. My airbrush did not get on well with the original Humbrol second colour, so I used uh, Vallejo Model Air RLM 65. The de-icing boots on the leading edges were masked and hand-painted with Tamiya Metallics. Problem areas were touched up by hand. The decals went on pretty easily after a coat of Johnson's Clear. They were a bit fiddly but they settled quite well and I do tend to find that a model decals are one of the better parts of their kit. The decal sheets are a bit crowded. And there we have it, the finished end result. Still sitting a little bit lopsided despite me having to sand down 
uh, one of the wheels to get it to sit level, but overall I don't think she looks too bad. Um, a lot of the photo etch was for exterior details, and I've got to be honest with you, some of it I could barely see. So, um, as you can see there, I'll be a few more views now of the uh, finished uh, aircraft. quite a short plane um, for its wingspan and that's something that really seems to stand out about it it is very much a uh, almost a seabird look but uh, while retaining the utilitarian appearance and there we have it, a final view looking down along the wings of the AN-20 I really like the subject. Civilian utility aircraft have an unexotic charm of their own. A model deserves serious credit for the number of different civilian types they produce kits of. Do not build this kit if you don't enjoy filling and sanding, a feature common to many A model kits. It's not a shake and bake, but it's worth the effort. I did find myself wondering if the effort on the cabin was worth it, as it prolonged the build for questionable visible benefit. It's at last good to have a 172nd scale Russian airliner in the collection and will be joined by more civil t uh, birds over time. So once again, thank you for watching. Happy modelling. God bless. Chancellor North Wales, signing out.